It's done. Finally, after a long wait, the fate of the GOAT has been sealed, and we now know that Lionel Messi is heading to Inter Miami. Is this the right move for Messi? Should he have gone to Saudi Arabia? Were you dreaming of seeing him in a Barcelona shirt once again? Maybe a stint in England or Italy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. But one thing's for sure, the MLS have won the race for the biggest name in football. It was recently reported that since the announcement of Messi's imminent arrival to the States, tickets to Inter Miami games have become more expensive than the NBA basketball finals, looking at $400 upwards for the cheapest tickets. It has also been reported that every Inter Miami game for this season home and away has been completely sold out. Needless to say, this is no ordinary signing, not even an ordinary world-class signing. This is the best ever. I've taken the decision that I am going to Miami, Messi told newspapers Diario Sport and Mundo Deportivo in early June of this year, 2023. The superstar has been surrounded by speculation all season, before, during and after his historical World Cup triumph with Argentina. Many Barcelona fans have been lamenting his unexpected exit from the club two years ago. It was a shock to the system seeing Messi in the shirt of another club side, especially when it seems that neither club nor player wanted to part ways. But such has been the situation at FC Barcelona in recent years, quite frankly a disaster. Those fans hoped up until the recent announcement that a return to Barcelona was on the cards. In fact, Messi said himself that he was hoping for the same outcome. But financial issues for the Catalan club continue and they have made the move practically impossible. For football romantics, it would have been a delight to see Messi play his trade in another country for a year or two, in Europe. Obviously, past his peak, but perhaps still the best footballer on the planet, it would have been a joy to see Messi revel in another challenge and adapt, undoubtedly without trouble, to another league. Allegedly, the likes of Inter Milan and Newcastle United tried to convince the number 10 to try something new in Europe, but Messi has revealed that that was never an option. It's true, he said, that I had offers from another European team, but I didn't even think about it because in Europe, my idea was always Barca. The MLS and Saudi Arabia had been knocking on the door for some time too, with bumper financial offers for the World Cup champion. Then some others suggested another year at Paris would be the simple way to play another year of Champions League football, but Messi had no intention. He has revealed he didn't particularly enjoy his time at the French club, he said he had a difficult two years at the club, despite a spectacular month away at the World Cup, that he hadn't wanted to go in the first place and his family missed Barcelona. Sadly, Messi's career in Paris finished with him being jeered by some sections of the fans. Despite winning two league titles for the club, he never truly felt at home and it became obvious he would not extend his stay. For all of the gossip and rumours, it finally came to pass that Miami Beach would be the new home of the Messi family and the Inter Miami would be his new club. He will be looking pretty in pink as he tours the states with the Florida side, currently ranked bottom of their conference. They won't stay there for long. It's rumoured that Messi will soon be joined by a couple more superstars, perhaps even in the form of ex-Barcelona teammates, with Jordi Alba, Sergio Busquets and even new Gremio signing Luis Suarez being tipped with moves to Miami. The league table and the whole sport of football in the USA will now likely be tipped on its head with the headline news from Miami. Of course, a welcome boost for soccer in the States ahead of the 2026 World Cup that they will host alongside Mexico and Canada. The move is a huge coup for the league as a whole. Business-wise, Messi will bring millions of eyes to the league and that will benefit all of the clubs. Inter Miami are now the fifth most followed sports team on Instagram in the USA in a nation where basketball, baseball and American football are the most popular sports, this shows just how big Messi's arrival is and how a new global audience will descend on the States. The Miami Herald reported that Lionel Messi's deal with his new club is a complicated one valued between $125 million and $150 million over the length of the contract estimated to be two and a half years. The deal is also said to include equity in the club, a bumper share of new MLS streaming sales on Apple TV, and perhaps even the opportunity, like David Beckham, to purchase his own MLS club at the end of his playing career. Messi says he wants to remain competitive and feels the responsibility to go and play well and win in Miami, 
but that he is also looking forward to things being a little bit more calm than in Europe, with less pressure placed on his shoulders, allowing him more time to focus on his family and enjoy his day-to-day -day life. He has already been welcomed by the Miami Ultras group, a fanatic group of Miami fans that have followed the club since its recent inception, a group that also has a key Argentinian and Latin influence, as does the city of Miami itself. They have assured Messi in various video messages that he is welcomed in the City of Sun as a walking legend who need not worry for anything. They are just overwhelmingly grateful to have him there. Messi may have made a wise choice in terms of his destination. The money might have been more in Saudi, but it's hardly a bad deal in Miami either. He probably decided that in terms of family life, Miami's Latin feel would suit his family more. Of course, Miami is a bigger and more developed city too, and the league and stadia are all a few years ahead of those in the Gulf state. Messi will continue to play at a decent level and likely maintain his fitness while still captaining the Argentinian national side, who in the summer of 2024 have a Copa America coming up. Might this be his last hurrah as an international? The 2024 tournament will also be held in the States, like the 2026 World Cup, whether an aging Messi makes an appearance there is another question, but he is certainly in the right place to stay in condition should he be tempted. Messi has recently said he thinks he has played his last World Cup, but we will never say never. We want to see him doing an Andrea Pirlo role in the middle in 2026. We're convinced a player that technically gifted doesn't need to be in the shape to run, but let's wait and see what happens. Let's not forget, Messi was running the show on the grandest stage of them all just a matter of months ago, turning young defenders inside out in his mid-30s to lead Argentina to World Cup glory. It was also quite apparent that at PSG he was playing in second gear, especially in the lead up to the Qatar tournament. It was as if he was on an extended training camp to prepare solely for the World Cup. Messi wanted to preserve his best for the national side and he did just that. On the other hand, Messi played a vital role for PSG and despite being quote unquote off it, he finished this season with 16 goals and 16 assists for the Parisians. Now 35, it's hardly a bad record. He might even win the Ballon d'Or. Messi may even be able to drop another gear in the MLS, but we still expect him to rack up goals and assists and continue to twist defenders inside out. If some of his old teammates join him in Miami, he might even bring an MLS title to Florida. It would be a nice cherry on top of the cake that is the marvelous career of Messi. Millions in the States will watch on in awe as he takes the field. Analysts will look on with interest at how it affects the game in America, and Argentinians will keep praying Messi plays on for as long as possible. It will be strange to see him so far from Europe and not playing at the very top level, but Lionel Messi doesn't mind. He has done it all. He has completed football and he is the best player of all time. Let us know what you thought about Messi's mega move in the comments below.